Pete here in 6QW and we're just finishing up a little project here where I took the shirt pocket transceiver which is the lower assembly and I built a new front panel and the back panel and I added a nice colored TFT display and an Arduino and SI 5351 and I took it from the uh, VXO uh, which was employed in the original shirt pocket and now we've got uh, a VFO. Now, the thing that's interesting is, this is the first time that this has ever worked for me, but I have a, a detended encoder, and it doesn't skip digits. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. First time I've ever seen that, so, kind of nice it never bothered me that it did skip some digits but a lot of people got pretty anal about that this is also has a this switch right here uh, actually is a mox it trips the push to talk and the reason for that is this button is a tune button so when I it's it's hard to hold the microphone down <clears throat> it's also not a good idea to try to put a tone over the microphone so I'm going to just temporarily disconnect the microphone and then that turns that turns it into transmit and now we got a about 20 watts coming out of the watt meter there with our pulse tone at one kilohertz one kilohertz there it is it went back we'll do that again there's tune and up there I don't know if you can see it but uh, we're getting about 20 watts on no, 10 watts maybe so we'll pump a little one hertz signal in there and release that and that's that's the mox this is the audio volume control right here and these two jacks uh the upper one is the phone and the lower one is the mic so it's pretty much the shirt pocket transceiver as built but i added the digi vfo and uh this has improved things somewhat before I noticed I was getting, uh, no matter what I did to tune the antenna, I was getting some SWR. And then I took a look on the spectrum and I see I'm getting some uh, funny outputs or some spurs. And the Digi VFO took care of that because I was using a 6 megahertz crystal. A 6 megahertz crystal is part of the Heterdyne VXO. And if you t triple that at 6.2 or something like that, it was slipping through the man pass filter at... Uh, at uh, 14 megahertz so uh, we got that fixed and it makes it kind of nice uh, the step tuning range on this will let us tune uh, 10 kilohertz there you go 10 kilohertz step it's a really nice display got a little whole bunch of colors in there and the thing that's funny is um, there's a matrix that tells you what what hex code to put in for the colors except uh, the n6qw is green but actually you call out magenta and uh so the usb is yellow the the red color and black is black and white is black so the background is black but those numbers 14211 uh that's black not white so it's kind of weird anyway you can put a lot of information you use uh, mixed you can use some uh, mixed sizes of, of print so the bottom one says shirt pocket SSB transceiver and 6QW and uh, it's less than one inch square so it makes it kind of nice to fit in the panel by the way the original size was two by two by four 16 cubic inches this is 2 by 3 by 4 so it's 24 so it's grown by 50 percent but uh, there's the Arduino right there and we included some things there's actually a hole in the back panel a nice uh, rectangular square hole so that I can plug in a USB plug into the Arduino so I don't have to pull it out of the assembly to program it so I just poke through the hole there and there we go so we did a few things like that uh, to make things a little bit easier. 
Uh, we're still doing some tuning. I had a, a failure last night. Actually, I was getting uh, over 100 watts with the afterburner, but one of the problems that I ran into was uh, it got so hot it smoked the after it smoked the IR510. So I had to disassemble the final board over on the other side, put a new IR510, and I noticed I don't get the same uh, 100 watts as I was getting yesterday. Only getting about 60. So I'm, I need to poke around a, a bit with that. Anyway, this is Pete here, N6QW. This is the new, improved, reinvented shirt pocket transceiver. Uh, obviously, it's no longer shirt pocket size, but see how we stack the boards. There was a lot of mechanical work here, building some sub-assemblies, uh, and we used angle stock to support the front and back panel, so a lot of measuring to make sure that everything was perpendicular, flat, and we had a lot of clearances. Um, I'm going to put a U-shaped cover over the top here, so that, and then it'll it'll attach at the bottom. There's some bottom holes there attached to that, so this way it'll have a nice clamshell type color that goes over the top of it. This is Pete N6QW, and we got it tuned again. I don't I don't have the uh, I did not put throw the switch, so even though it shows tune here, the signal is not going. The other thing I did too is I routed the square wave coming out of the Arduino through the switch. And this is a double pull, double throw. So even though uh, <clears throat> the switch is off, it's not tripped, there's not uh, square waves going into the mic circuit. So the, the mic circuit also does not back feed the Arduino. So when you tune, you pull out the plug, you throw that switch, and, and so it's only then that the output of the Arduino gets connected into the mic jack input. So uh, here, let's uh, tune one kilohertz, 100 kilohertz. There you go. Single band, 20 meters, makes it kind of cool. I don't know. It says R fit. I don't know what that is. I have to look at that. <clears throat> and there we go. 100 hertz. Actually, kind of cool. Pete here, reworked shirt pocket transceiver, N6QW.